Okay, so this week we still spend a lot of time doing our acrobatics. Okay, but I wanted to also make sure we spend a lot of time on our entry into our round off and our takeoff position for our round off dismount. Okay, our acrobatic skills. I can see a massive improvement from all of you when it comes to your start technique and also starting to do two, three acrobatic skills in a row. Alright, so well done on that. Keep it up because I still want to keep seeing the progress. Okay, but looking at our round off, one of the most important things when we do our round off, as well as the work that you focused on with Joe, so we're stepping straight, we're reaching straight. The same thing needs to apply for your beam dismount. Okay? You want to see a really late turn. You need to see a long, strong kick of our legs up to vertical, kicking and joining together by the time they get vertical. All right, so a couple of drills to start so we can feel our start position of reaching into it. With our arms by our ears. They need to be nice and narrow and stay parallel to the beam the whole time. Okay, we don't want to see an early turn out. Okay, we see an early turn, then we're going to end up going sideways around the beam with our legs and our body, and end up taking us off direction. Okay, but what we need to feel from our herd, from our lunge, into our round off, is almost like a strong needle kick action. Alright, so feel that this leg here kick, our back leg and our front leg, we need to see pushing off nice and strong give us our acceleration. So we're going to see just a needle kick. So hands down to the mat, big needle kick. So leg up. So we're working and driving that leg over the top. Okay, once more. Big needle kick, up and down. Okay, so we've got our needle kick. Coming over here to the beam. Okay, we need to work, once we've done our kick and our support, a lot of what I've spoken about, all of our acro work, making sure we feel our shoulders on top of our hands and our correct alignment. Okay, if our shoulders are off and we're pushing back, we're not going to feel support giving us the right block or right technique that we need. Okay, so a dream just to work is kicking to feeling our support on the one hand. Okay, so our shoulders here. Okay, we don't want to see, wait, we don't want to see falling off our hands. We don't want to see this way. Right on top. Feel our turn, weight on hands, both hands, and stepping down. Okay, so we're making sure we feel that support on both hands when we place them down. Alright, moving on. So working our reach in. Hands off, finger. Round off. Okay, feeling when we go into our round off. I want to see your second hand that's placing almost your leading hand. I want to see it reach further past the front hand to try and keep us nice and square and parallel reaching in so we don't do our early open. Okay, nice and strong. Looking when we come off our hands, a nice straight body to land with open hips and I want to see our nice straight legs. Not this position. Okay, this position is going to make us go backwards. Okay, let's have a look at Chloe. So looking for our needle kick up. Okay, strong forward. Do you want more for me? Okay, so our strong needle kick with our free leg pushing, trying to catch up to join our legs by vertical. Our support to a nice strong landing. Okay, and then we're going to go the same here. We do down there on the line, working our round off up to a height. Which is just standing round So feeling leg reaching forward. Okay, nice strong body, strong snap. To our round off punch on the beam. Okay, let's look for our nice open hips, our square entry. Okay, to our punch. And then we'll add our back sold on.
you're trying to work your 52 dismounts, really exactly the same punch.